And, um, and the thing is, in this world, we use our feet to get around. Okay? But in the next world, we're going to be crippled unless we know how to breathe and intonate that holy name of God. Okay? Because in the next world, that will totally give us the wings to our soul and give us free flight. Okay? Even in this world as well, too. All our psychic states, paranormal states, we should never ever sell ourselves short from what, for one altered state. We should always know that we should be totally integrated. If we, if, there's, if we should have psychicness or telepathy or levitation or anything we should ever have, they must all be integrated in balance and in harmony. And the name of God balances all those abilities. All of us have unique traits and skills. Some are psychic, some are great in math, some are great in writing, some are great in art. But when we take all of these aspects of our brain, okay, by the name of God, it, it makes all these parts of our brains working together where one part doesn't atrophy and another over-accentuate. And that's what the holy name of God does. It makes all the parts of your brain work together, function well as one. Instead of teaching those children to teach each separate letter, that's not the way they should do it. So they should teach them to, to know the name of God. And that's how you then tap into what the real meaning of a human being is. A human being that is a, is a hologram, is a paradigm of God. We actually reveal God's bounty, His grace, through how we release that spirit in us. We are actually the revelation of God. We are acts to creation, to the rest of the world. If it wasn't for us, all the most beautiful and comely names, all the attributes and qualities of God would not be revealed. And God, God's own image would be not, not, re, re, uh, not, not distributed throughout the universe. Hmm? Reflected? Not reflected throughout <laughs> the universe. Uh, Thanks. How about uh, this coil? If, if it doesn't have any resistance, why it only produces twice as much uh, energy? And, uh, um, it's it's much more. The reason is they're making out a filament strand and it's insulated. They're not doing it correctly. The next coils are supposed to be made out of glass, but it's very difficult for us to make them, and we're struggling, and it's expensive. Oh. And I've met with people to make them already, but they already tell me that it costs money to experiment. So this is a very slow process. Yeah. I'm going through, we're looking at months again, or years, before I get this off the ground, depending. Do you need some more investors? I know a couple millionaires you gotta need. Um, yeah, I don't need the money, but the people who make this, there are real bills that they won't work for free. I'd, if we can't find people who will, who, who, will, who will donate their engineering skills, if we don't know engineers and talented people, then we have to hire people. But my first goal was for everybody just to, to contribute what their skill is. I've done it so far based on the no-strings-attached, free gift, you know, participation type situation. If there's any investors that want to, I don't beg, I don't solicit for money at these talks, and I always continue to teach for free. But um, as long as they're not into it from the fact of return, let me put it this way. To keep them from being greedy about it, um, I won't promise them any money in return for whatever they invest. I won't make any, um, I won't try and lure them or entice them. If they want to make it without me, they can get my book. It cost me $40 to print this book. And they can make it on their own, and they can even omit me, okay, if that's their desire. But, but if they want to see it made with my resources and my skill, then this is what the book looks like. It's a big thing. Um, then, yeah, I would definitely... Uh, know where the money is most appropriately used, you know, because all the people that I work with are, are very talented, very skilled. I also would compensate certain writers, certain artists. I would actually compensate Charlie and Judy because they're teachers. I would actually offer them 
uh, a publishing agreement, because I have a publisher, but he just wants the draft, the final product. I have a CD-ROM company, and I would actually ask him to produce teaching materials for schools. So the, you guys are the guys I'd use the money for. I'd pay you guys to do the work. So, you know, me, I can live on without money. I'm okay, I, you know, because I bought a new tent. <laughs> and I need its fruit, so. I need its fruit, yeah. But I'm going to go to Kmart and get another one, too. So I have two. That way I'm expanding. <laughs> Living room, bedroom. Okay. Just oh, be like this. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo. You guys are a lot of fun. Couldn't couldn't have more fun. <laughs>